Excellencies, colleagues, friends. As we commemorate the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, it is important to emphasize that the ideas and the spirit that led to its adoption are still relevant today. International human rights are essential part of international peace and security. Promoting and protecting human rights and advancing democracy are among top priorities for Estonians foreign policy. One of the three main eras of Estonian human rights diplomacy has been focusing on protection of the rights of persons in vulnerable situations. In addition, the empowerment of women and enhancing gender equality has been among top priorities of Estonia. Today, the enjoyment of human rights of all people is challenged by triple plenary crisis. Tens of millions of people displaced by climate and weather related disasters each year, pollution leading to one in six deaths per year, mass extinction of species and ecosystem loss. These are but some elements of the environmental crisis that shape our present day reality. While trying to cope with the climate change, which affects various individuals and groups differently, the adverse impact of climate change on the enjoyment of human rights must be addressed. We must ensure in particular that the measures taken do not exacerbate the challenges faced by vulnerable groups or worsen structural inequalities. Fostering equality also contributes to achieving environmental objectives. Hence, in the planning of a sustainable environmental transition, it is imperative to consider the present circumstances, needs and capabilities of diverse groups. There is a need to take decisive action and to proceed in such a way that no one is left behind in a transition towards an environmentally sustainable and low carbon economy in accordance with the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. We have to act urgently to accelerate changes that will have major implications for vulnerable groups. This is why Estonia will take action by advancing green transition in an inclusive and democratic way, while consistently integrating gender equality and intergenerational equity throughout the green transition process and incorporating human rights considerations in domestic climate change related legislation. Holding consultations with specific groups, helping them to develop a clear understanding of the significance and goals of gender mainstreaming and strengthen the linkage between taking measures to address climate change and respecting, promoting and considering human rights obligations as stipulated in the preamble of the Paris Agreement. Estonia strongly believes that our pledges will contribute to a concrete change of mindset, not only in our country, but brings us all towards a gender enjoyment of human rights, wherever we live and whoever we are.